You looking for something or what? Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. It's very secretive though, and you know how people hate secrets. The Jarl's court wizard was taught there. That one's full of secrets. I don't know why I bother. Don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little sickly. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. People of Riften. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Alas. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Alas. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septim of it honestly. I can tell. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction, and you're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then. If you've still got the stomach for it. Have you reconsidered my own? Sorry, Emmy. I've no interest in becoming your valet. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Why don't they listen to me, We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. What can I do for you? Yes? My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately yeah, for you... Yeah, what do you want? That skill can be bought. Need Why something. Maven Blackbriar wants me to keep the mead flowing. And that's what I aim to do, despite all these lazy good-for-nothings that work for us. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to... Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. 
I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. What wasn't I clear about? Okay, lass. Ready to... Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. This... No shoving. Plenty of room. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the... This pheasants. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed hmm? with water. That was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in the If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods for Morrowind in one of the stands. Through their veins. Your eyes. How did you get that then? Can't you no bother me at my armor years. stand in the market? Or are you that desperate for training? I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Come see me in the market if you're looking for the finest custom jewelry in all of Skyrim. One sip of Please. Please, I need but a septum. A septum. Great wealth. Oh, Everlasting life. So We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. All meat guaranteed, clean and free from rock Hurry, joints. Before my supply. It's gone. Twenty coins? No one has that much. See into other people's thoughts. I can't afford to get one. But can I afford not to? Don't listen to Vegetables him, he's making this up. A winter's morning. Learn a library's work. Knowledge in moments. What if he's right? Maybe I'll buy one. Why would you even listen to him? Live for thousands of years. What if he's right? Maybe I'll buy Fresh one. Meats and produce. Why would Get you even listen to him? Please hurry. I only have a few bottles left. I could get rich and stop selling these trinkets. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Why would you even listen to him? 
see into other people's thoughts. I don't know. Sounds like I should try. Twenty coins? No one has Vegetables that much. That's crisp. Winter's morning. Well, Need something? Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Yeah. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Fresh meats and produce. Get yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from... Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Why take a chance? Wait, what's this ring? This isn't mine. That's right, it isn't. Please. You're under Please. arrest, Branche. This is insane. I didn't steal anything. I never saw this ring before in my entire life. Oh, it's you. We can do this one Not of two ways. Not here to rob me, are you? You can walk with me to the keep where I can drag your lifeless body. Your huh? choice. But I'm very well. I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman barely able to swing a blade. My travels have taken me from High Rock to Vellenwood, Elsewhere to Morrowind and all points in between. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Just stay away from me, and I'll forget we had this discussion. Buy some armor and live to tell about it.
Never should have come here. You just a scratch. Why don't you just formally join up? Quit sitting here and we're only dealing with you could be out here, mate. A heck of a lot more coin. We've all heard that one before, Brent. Well, Quit well, yeah, calling me impressed, lass. I wasn't I certain I'd ever see you day. again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. 
He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Job's done, boss. Gave the package to Helga is a like devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Yep. Use she it as leverage and she'll cave. On us, but she talked her out of it. Said she saved us a lot of trouble. That she did. Kirava's stubborn, I'll but she's got a Brindis. soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. Hey, Ton, you shouldn't cheat on Feckel. He's a good guy. I'll be here when you're done. Okay. How dare you? After all we've been through together? How can you do this to me? Hey, 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 sorry. I just get jealous when I hear rumors about you. That's all they are. Rumors. So quit worrying.
never find me. Come here, come here, come here, come here! I'm gonna eat well tonight, my darling. This is no more. I yield. I yield. Go away! What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbern. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you... So, so you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive, then? You'd better come in, then, and tell me how you found me, and what you want. Knife. Yes. Th this'll just take a moment. Yes. Oh. <laughs> So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger. Here or in the afterlife, Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Oh yes, it's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. What? You are? Can it really be true? 
dragonborn. Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. But give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need... Uh, no. No useless trash. Where'd I put my annotated annual?